What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the GTA 6 tutorial series and in this episode, we will set up the Mass AI Entity Configuration. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is go into one of our folders and create a new data asset, okay? So in this case, let's go to Blueprints, and just right click, create a new folder, and let's call this something as, you know, Civilians, oh yeah. All right, so in here, let's right click, go to miscellaneous, and then just go and select this, uh, where is it, data asset, which is here, and let's, you know, pick this up. So now what we need to do is pick a class, right, a parent class for this data asset that we are creating. In this case, if we, you know, kind of scroll down, you can see that we have this mass entity config asset. This is what we want. Let's select this and just name this something as DA underscore, and then like uh, mass AI entity. All right. And now with that said, we can just go ahead and double click to open this up. So in here is where we're going to be adding the different traits to this kind of configuration for this specific entity that will spawn. And the traits are going to be kind of like features, right? That these AIs are going to have. So instead of uh, creating all the logic and features and everything in a blueprint, we're going to have it in this data asset. And it's just how, you know, the mass AI plugin works and how it, you know, operates to be more uh, performant, right? So the first one that we're going to be adding is going to be called this assorted fragments, okay? And inside of this uh, uh, sort of fragment trait, so we're going to add another trait. What is this trait going to be? Well, we want things as, for example, the uh, mass actor fragment, okay? Which is going to have reference to the actor itself. Then we're going to have another one, which is going to be the transform fragment, right? Where you need access to the location, rotation, scale, and everything about this entity that we are spawning. Then we will need another one, which will be the uh, agent radius fragment and it is basically how uh, much space the agent will kind of take up when moving around right for now 40 will work as default and then we need one more which is the uh, mass viewer okay or mass view i think it was mass uh, yes mass viewer info fragment and this will give us some information about the mass that we're seeing and we can also display it kind of a gizmo later on and when, when debugging cool well i said the um, first, uh, a, a fragment trait is done, so now we can move into the next one. The next one that we're gonna be adding is gonna be the capsule collision, okay? Agent capsule collision sync, and that's because what well, we want our agents to have collision. This is very important so they don't bump into each other. Now we're gonna deactivate or disable sync transform, okay? I'm gonna change the direction of syncing uh, from both ways to mass to actor, okay? Um, why are we doing oh, sorry not a mass to actor but actor to mass why are we doing this well basically just gonna change it so that the um, the actor will move into the mass for the collision okay then we can go ahead and just add another trait which in this case will be the movement okay so it's gonna be agent movement sync not movement itself but agent movement sync once again is the sync of this uh, movement for the agent uh, what do we want in here well in this case we want to do it the other way around okay from mass to actor okay and then we want to add another one there's a few of them okay so it's kind of going quick over here um so the next one that we want is the orientation right and you say well this kind of already is covered in transform right uh the location is, the rotation is included there no but this is the kind of the uh sinking so again we need to change this from uh mass to actor okay with that said, we need to add another one. What will this one be? Well, this one will be the crowd member, okay? So we know specifically what kind of member it is from the whole crowd, right? It's kind of, of its ID. Then we will have another one, which will be the crowd visualization, okay? And it is, you know, how uh, we will see this um, actor, this entity itself. And we have a few options over here. The first one is the high resolution actor and the low resolution template actor in this case what we need to do is create a new blueprint actor which will be the actor itself that we will basically spawn so let's go back to our content browser just right click create a new blueprint class and i select character let's call this something as pp underscore civilian ai and then let's open this up okay so we have got you know keep this simple go to the mesh and just assign maybe like many 
simple and then put this at minus 89 and minus 90 on rotation and that's it okay this is going to be our actor that will spawn as our civilians for now go back to our data asset and now in the high res actor we can just plug in our civilian ai blueprint and the same with the low risk right because for now we're gonna be one uh, worrying about that the thing is that if we open params and lot representation you can see that uh, the mass ai will automatically handle all the lod's right the level of distance so the further we are away from the entities the lower quality they will have and so on right so high we have a high res actor medium low res low it goes directly into a static mesh so it will be just a single uh, model there not moving so performance will increase and then off it just disappears okay cool so we can keep that as default of course you can modify that for example with medium you still want to have a high res uh, actor you can but for now let's just leave everything as it is cool so that is for the crowd visualization now we need another one which will basically consist on avoidance okay and this is basically you know how they will uh, uh, detect and avoid other um agents with their collision uh we can leave all the parameters as default okay let's add another trait and this will basically be the movement itself okay and yes we will control all of the movement speed acceleration and so on from here not the movement component from the actor okay it will be everything from here then another one which will basically be steering so they can kind of you know uh, know where when we want to turn and so on and again some values if we want to change the reaction time and so on then we have the zone graph navigation <coughs> and this basically just you know moving around the zone graphs that we added in the previous episode right you can see the zone shape and we're gonna follow this around uh, so for now we need to add some lane tags which are the civilian in this case on any and that's how they will kind of spawn uh, on there and then of course you can change the query radius but for now this will be good right we just kind of to find the nearest lane where it will spawn great so with that said there's only three more that we need to add the next one is going to be the lod collector okay and then we will also need another one which is the smooth orientation right so they will kind of interpolate between different values to change their orientation and not look like a roblox character moving around and then the last one is going to be the navigation obstacle okay so they can you know kind of uh, not only detect obstacles in other entities but also in the environment and their navigation so with that said we are all set to go okay the only thing that we need to do is go to our uh, civilian ai and add the mass entity or agent component so very important with the mass agent selected we need to apply this at an asset that we created so in the details panel entity config we can now add that uh, da mass ai entity cool with that said we can compile save and now just close both of these and we need to add one more thing into our level in order to spawn these um entities or agents right so we need to go to the quickly to add to the section go to all classes and with the cursor on top of this panel we can add or well, start typing spawner we can see this mass spawner let's drag it to our level and now we have a few options here in the spawn category first of all the count how many let's put for example five for now then the entity types right what types are we spawning well in this case it will be only one type which is the generic one that we create uh, which is mass ai entity in the future, we want to add more, right? Uh, um, with our own behavior, like for vehicles, policemen, or whatever, you could create another one of those and change their proportions. Um, and then for the data generators, we can just add this to pick a zone graph, right? We can also use an EQS spawn pines generator. And it's gonna find a spawn uh, a spawn pine point in I don't know how to talk today <laughs> in a level. But we created the song graphs, right, in the previous episode. So we're going to be using that. And then with that, we are actually pretty good to go. The only thing that we need to do is go up into build and click on build zone graphs. And that will just take a second. There we go. And that's it. So now our zone graphs cannot build some data, as you can see in the, in here at the level. So we can save, press play. And if we let everything go ahead and just 
load for a second, you can see that we have some AIs right <laughs> behind us. Um, yes, my engine right now is kind of exploding, but bear with me for a second. There we go. So we have, uh, yeah, five agents in total, really. You can see that mm, the LEDs will happen if I kind of go further away and so on. And that's what we can change in the in the configurator. So we'll do that in a second because actually I don't want them to kind of disappear from two meters away. And then another thing that you saw was some message. If I press play, I can see that warming again, which is some fragments are added by multiple trades and can only be added by one. Basically, this plugin is still an experimental, right? And it's saying that some fragments or trades that we added are entering in conflict with others that we added. So for now, it's just a warning. Don't worry about that. And it's really because it's an experiment. We added all the necessary traits that we need in the great order that we need. So this is just some thing that will just be there. <laughs> and we kind of need to wait until an update, okay? So let's change this about the LODs. So as you may remember, this was under the crowd visualization. And we can see all about the high res, low res template actor and all that stuff. Well, there's one thing that we can do in the params our representation which is on off we can just change this to be a static mesh right and i believe that that should just fix the problem um just wait until they load there we go and uh they are okay they are still here so we're gonna actually change the bit we're gonna also make this high res on uh, how do we say on the medium for the low we're gonna put it on low res and then for off we're gonna give it a static mesh okay and that way, I think that they should not disappear so much, if I am correct. Um, yes, okay, so as you can see now, they did not don't go. They just changed from static mesh to be in a high or low level skull to mesh. And now they don't disappear when I'm two meters away. Okay, so that's pretty much what we needed over there. As you can see, if also if I press Alt S, we can simulate it. And I can see a bit better if I select my zone graph, zone shape, we go how they are indeed spawning along the zone graph that we added in the previous episode. This is our dummy, this is separate, okay, don't worry about that. But yeah, they're basically being spawned right now with all of the properties and configurations that they require in order to make them move in the next episode. So that's it guys, if you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to my channel. Remember they have full access to the project files through Patreon or YouTube members. Check out my Discord server so you can talk with me and talk with Des. Also, uh, check out my new core to game TV and how to make a stealth game in Unreal. Follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.